What does it take for Bitcoin to reach the $6,500 level? Recently, two industry giants, Michael Saylor and Peter Brandt, made bullish statements on Bitcoin, uh, causing quite a stir in the cryptocurrency market. But is the market ready for another surge? Let's dive in. Um, Michael Saylor, the founder and chairman of uh, MicroStrategy, took to X to express his confidence in Bitcoin. He stated, Bitcoin is engineered to keep winning, highlighting its potential to become more valuable over time. Along with the tweet, he shared an image showcasing BTC's performance over the year, comparing it to other asset classes. Uh, Peter Brandt, um, a, a prominent veteran trader, also made a post on X. Uh, pointing out a bullish pattern in BTC, which he called foot shot, uh, and he added that this is a buy signal for the short term, and these tweets uh, gained massive attention from investors and traders, potentially influencing market emotions. Uh, however, Bitcoin's technical analysis paints a different picture. Currently, BTC is looking bearish and facing resistance from the 200 exponential moving average near the $58,000 level. Despite this resistance, the relative strength index is in an oversold area, forming a bullish divergence, signaling a potential sign of recovery if BTC manages to give a daily candle closing above the $58,000 level. There's a high chance it will reach the $60,500 level. However, this would result in nearly $2.4 billion of short positions being liquidated, according to on-chain analytic firm CoinGlass. As of writing, BTC is trading near the $57,800 level with a 2% upside momentum in the last 24 hours. However, the trading volume dropped by 37% in the 24 period, indicating a decrease in investor and trader participation. Uh, in the last seven days, uh, BTC is down by 6%, and in the last 30 days, it has lost over 20% of its value. With that said, uh, thanks for uh, watching, um, and uh, until next time. And now for a little joke. Why did the Bitcoin cross the road to get to the other blockchain?